Welcome to our COVID-19 daily report for today, January 7th. I am Claudette Dakers Norales. The cutoff time for the data presented in this daily report is 1 p.m. It includes information reported within the last 24 hours. A total of 491 samples were tested. Out of this, 44 samples have resulted positive for COVID-19. There are 214 individuals newly under investigation. There are 32 new recoveries to report. Today, we also report that 15 infected persons are hospitalized. Unfortunately, one is being treated at the intensive care unit. Sadly, there are seven new deaths to report. As we move forward with the expansion of testing using rapid tests and reports coming in from the private sector, you will notice an increase in the numbers of confirmed cases and the total tests done. Additionally, this report is cumulative since March 2020, when we had our first case. The new total of active cases now stands at 541. These are those persons who have been confirmed and are within the time frame to transmit the virus. To date, 61,511 samples have been tested nationally. Out of this, 11,152 samples have resulted positive for COVID-19. 214 individuals are under investigation. A total of 267 deaths have been reported. But we are pleased to report that there are 10,344 total recoveries. The heat map shows the districts mostly affected. The greatest number of cases are seen in Belize, Stan Creek, and Cayo. Belize reported 16 new cases, with Belize City responsible for 10 of those cases. Stan Creek District reported 10 cases with Pomona and Santa Rosa being the communities mostly affected and accounting for a total of six cases. Cayo reported eight new cases, with Las Flores and San Ignacio each responsible for two of those cases. Orange Joac reported five new cases, with Orange Joac Tong responsible for two of those cases. Corozal District reported three new cases with Corozal Tong and Shunush responsible for those cases. And Toledo District reported no new cases. The Ministry of Health and Wellness urges the public to wear a face mask properly in public. Maintain consistent physical distancing, avoid social gatherings and wash and sanitize hands often. Please be safe and stay at home unless conducting essential business. Let us join forces in the fight against COVID-19.